experience music everywhere. Welcome back once again. My name is Chris. Check it out. We talked about frets, some, right? What that means. So, and we talked about how it's confusing how it refers to these metal lines here, and then also the spaces between those metal lines. Mm -hmm. We talked about different notes with the chromatic scale, right? Going up like this, playing the top string, just starting right there, and then put your fingers on those frets one at a time. That we got a whole other video about it. So check it out. Um, just a couple of tips about fretting notes and chords. So watch this. Let's say I'm gonna put my finger right here, okay? If I push it down like this, push it down nice and hard, I gotta press all the way against the wood. I don't know if you can see that from where you're sitting, but that's what's happening. Now if I push it halfway down, or just rest my finger on top of it, you get that weird clicking sound. Now I'm gonna press it all the way down again. First starting out, this can be kind of tough, okay? So you have to develop the strength slowly. It's just like, you know, if you want to start running, you can't run five miles in a day. Probably, if you're like me, you couldn't even run one. But, just keep at it. Your fingers are going to start to get stronger, okay? So, I'll show you with a chord this time. Watch this. If I press my fingers all the way down, that's the sound you want. If you lift your fingers up a little bit, that's the sound we want. So one more thing, um, you can accidentally mute some of these strings if you're not careful. So watch this. You see how my fingers here are stacked up like this? They go one, two, three, four for a C chord, right? Now take a look at this finger right here. It's on a string, but then we have another string. Can I show you that? Yep. Another string, the G string next to it down here, the fourth string. So my finger's on the third string right there. That's what that sounds like. Here's the fourth string, one more down, okay? Look at my middle finger, it's pointed straight up and down, okay? Again, I don't know if you can see that from where you're sitting, but that's what's happening. Now, if I turn it and I go, so let's try the G string again. That's coming out nice and clear. If I have my finger like this, bent down a little bit, so it's touching the G string, it doesn't come out. Okay, so I'm gonna point it straight up and down again. Now I'm gonna try them together, watch this. Yeah, that's with my finger straight up and down. Do it like this, doesn't work. Let's add another finger. Take my ring finger, C chord, and put it right here, okay? I'll make the whole chord. Watch this. Here's this note right here. That's the one my ring finger is on. Uh, my, I'm sorry, my middle finger. My ring finger is on the string above it, the second string. So I have my middle finger on the third string. I have my ring finger on the second string. My ring finger starts to lean over like this, it touches the third string, that note doesn't come out. If I point it straight up and down, now it sounds good. Now it sounds crummy. Now it sounds good. If I lean all my fingers over, it doesn't really sound like it's supposed to. Do that with other chords too. So that's our tip for this video, guys. Always keep your fingers pointed straight up and down. If you can, and push those strings down as hard as you can into the wood. Okay. That's how you get the notes to come out sounding clear. If you can't do it right away, don't worry about it. Stick with it, and you will be able to eventually. Guys, we'll be back with more. Have fun.